Aloha, this is Kyle Abbott, Bachido. Well, we have a very special guest uh, coming from Boston, Brian Chan, musician, luthier extraordinaire. <laughs> well, I'm glad, uh, I, I'm glad I could stop by this time, and thanks for inviting me. Th thanks for coming here, definitely. It's, was it three years ago? Four years? Uh, I think it was, yeah, probably three or four years. Um, I picked up Kyle's book because uh, I just started hearing about Shamisen, um, Kyle's music, the Yoshida Brothers, and I was like, hey, I want to learn this. So I picked up Shamisen of Japan. I built one according to your wonderfully written instructions and drawings, um, and then I wanted to keep going, so I started designing Shamisen modifications. Uh, you specialize in um, fold folding things. Yes, I, I got started with origami since like the age of seven, folding from origami books, and I still do that. Uh, I, I go to conventions every now and then and do exhibitions. But since I got started with music, I thought, well, how do you combine building things, origami, and music? So I started thinking, well, I travel around a lot. Um, and you, as you know, if you have to travel with one instrument, it's already kind of a hassle, oh, but yeah. if you want to travel around with two or three instruments, it becomes almost impossible. Even a shamisen, which is, it's already portable because you could take part in three parts, you still need like a suitcase or a briefcase for that. So I thought, can we do better? And this is what I came up with. So it looks like a dough, but if you look in the front, there are these um, latches. So what happens is this, you unlatch it. And then, let's see, it opens up, and then oh this parts. My. So it opens up in two halves, like this, Ooh. and instead of three sections of shamisen, it actually breaks into five. Incredible. It even has, I see, uh, Ayosugi, the Ayosugi pattern. Yeah. So these are the, um, the wavy chisel cuts, but I used computer controlled machines to cut this. Yeah, it's so perfect. I programmed it's, it in. It's uh, perfect. Well, thank you. Uh, these metal parts are 3D printed. Um, it's a new technology <laughs> that uses metal powder, and there's a print head that puts down glue, and it glues the cross sections together. After all the whole pieces, all the pieces are made, um, you take them out and you put them in an oven. And the oven actually burns off the glue, but it also melts the metal together and solidifies it. So this is actually really strong because it's stainless steel powder uh, and it's mixed with bronze. Interesting. So eventually it's going to have a skin on both sides, um, but I left it open so that I could you know, fiddle with the inside. The latches keep it shut. And then the other pieces fit on one by one. I, I won't press it all the way down. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the full size of the shamisen. Note that the, the fittings, uh, Zagani, where he made himself as well. Yeah, those are machined on a lathe with brass. I think we'll do a maybe a sound sample once I have it completed. Oh yeah, yeah. The dough. So this is my latest instrument, and I built this actually uh, several years after I built my first folding instrument, which is this. It's about this size. It's all packed up. It has hinges. So that's the neck, and then this is the sound box. So it has a metal frame that holds it open. On the other side is a skin. So traditionally this would be snake skin, but I used paper because I didn't want to get a confiscated erhu in customs. That's the super compact travel erg. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's all I can say. And as you know, even though the erhu is a, uh, considered pretty much a small instrument, mm -hmm. 
um, carrying an ergo case if you have a backpack and or a suitcase then it starts to become a hassle too. That's why after several years of doing that I, I came up with this. Mm. And I could tra uh, travel with carrying this and this in a backpack and it's still not too bad. Incredible, incredible. Great to finally meet you. Yeah, I'm so glad we got to do this finally. Indeed. Yeah. I'll do more in the future. Hey everyone, Kyle Abbott of uh, Bachido. We are here uh, in, not as chilly as I thought it would be, Boston with Brian Chan, CAD CNC extraordinaire, who's been making some uh, wild instruments, not wild, but instruments. <laughs> and we're here to explore them. So this is the folding shamisen that I showed you a few weeks ago. Um, most of it stays the same. I reskinned it. And the tension is a little bit different. So what are these weird contraptions? Um, they are actually just oh my. the pegs. And I designed them to transform just the, you know, the look cool. Because chances are um, this might be an emergency travel shamisen, but if you find yourself in the unfortunate position of having to perform on stage, you still want it to look nice and respectable and not have a short little compact bag. Mm, totally. Because that, that could be a measure of your showmanship. Exactly. Um, there's also um, an inlaid rhinestone on mm. the sawari for the same reason. And see. And, and I believe that this uh, shamisen here, full size to the shamisen, is made of uh, CNC as well. Yeah. So the very first one that I made uh, was from your book, and I did it according pretty much to your instructions. And then later on, I decided I want to learn how to use a computer controlled cutting machine. So that's why I created the second one. And aside from finishing and uh, fitting, all the parts are done by the machine and not by me. Wow. just an experiment too. Um, it's not as pretty, but this is what if we lived in a post-apocalyptic post world and we didn't have bamboo or Oh, we gotta so, prepare for that. Yeah, yeah, so like recycled plastics and recycled aluminum uh, is probably something we would use. So I decided to mock one up and uh, this is oh. what it is. Let's give it a try.
Yes. That was two hours, something like two hours, and we rough cut saw. Um, Even more than rough much. cut. Yeah. It's pretty smooth. Pretty much everything went as planned. There are a few parts that chipped a little bit, so if you go into production, you, you want to um, change the tool path a little bit so that it cuts in the other direction and won't chip it out so mm -hmm. much. But I think we can repair that by hand. Well, it is last day in Boston, a uh, hearty 14 degrees, a little nippy, um, but thank you again for having me here. Oh, thanks it's for coming over. It's been, it's been a very been a really good uh, weekend. Yeah, got, got in a bit of sightseeing and, and also very informative and educational time. Well, I'm glad you had fun. Yeah, me too. So here we are, we have uh, the CNC Shamisen, designed and created by Brian Chan, which is skinned with Fibersen synthetic skin. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Still quite just hard as ever. I want you want some more. I got a refill. All right, one more for good measure. 